Greetings my people. We are in a very patriotic part of the cathedral now. Um, this is the grave of the Duke of Wellington. Arthur, the Duke of Wellington. For whom the Wellington boot is named. Same as Lord Sandwich, apparently that's for who the sandwich was made, but I, you know, I don't know whether that's true or not, that one. What I heard told to me by a historian, a fellow that I used to know, Stratford Archives, is that Lord Sandwich needed a meal that he could eat with one hand on horseback while looking at a map or looking through his telescope. And his servant made a sandwich. There we are. Born May the 1st, MDCCX, so you've got all that lot in Latin. And I cannot, un unfortunately, I can't understand Latin. But even the floor in here alone is a, is a real masterpiece. Mosaic tesserae, they're really, really uh, well done, look. And of course, it isn't just the Duke of Wellington buried here, or remembered here. You've got so many others. This is very much the military, or militaristic area, this bit. Now they've got the, uh, the, flame, the flame lamps working again. These weren't working before. That's carved rock crystal up there, that is. Such pretties. Pause to read. I can't slim. We saw his memorial upstairs, didn't we? All along here, this time, I've been moaned at before for pointing down at the floor, but this time I don't think you'll mind. And for anyone else that wishes to moan about me pointing at the floor, I wouldn't do that if I were you, because I will find you. And the bloody carnage and mess I shall leave behind, even God would look at and go, Ooh, what on earth is that? Okay. And these are um, standards and banners that were actually at the battles. And our next famous one will be in a minute, but first... Oh, there we go. Lift my bearings slightly. Not these, I'll show you in a minute.
so that's the Wellington area. Now, our next famous person I wish to want to show you is Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp, the lady who revolutionised nursing, introduced the idea of cleanliness and uh, things like that. In Florence Nightingale's time, when she arrived at the hospital, she found one bucket and one cloth, and that cloth and bucket being used to clean every single wound on that ward. So it wasn't surprising that many people got sepsis and died. Blessed are the merciful. Florence Nightingale, born May the 12th, 1820, died August the 13th, part of the crypt. I won't do the whole thing today, I shouldn't think, because there's something else I wish to do soon. So, Admiral of the Fleet. Just going around the opposite way and have a look. <coughs> yeah, our next famous character is course Nelson and there's actually an interesting story around this tomb itself this tomb was originally intended for Cardinal Wolsey of Henry VIII's era famous Cardinal Wolsey and when Cardinal Wolsey fell and Hampton Court Palace and all his possessions went to Henry VIII Henry VIII intended this memorial for himself he planned a grand memorial at Windsor none of which happened Henry VIII didn't leave a very nice legacy, so it isn't difficult to see why. But yeah, this was originally intended for a cardinal, then a king, and then was used for Admiral Nelson. And here is the call of the nation's prayer. Remember? Here we are. This was the message that uh, written by Lord Nelson in his diary. Well, in view of the enemy, October the 21st, 1805. England expects every man shall do his duty. And that was the message that Admiral Nelson had run up. A lot of messages were done by flags in those days. See what I mean about the, um, the tesserae? These are called tesserae. These mo it's a mosaic floor, but the mosaics are made with tesserae. I'm not an expert on architecture or being a knoll or anything. I only know this through um, watching so much history, history stuff. And there you've got the moon. Look, it's gone. So much detail in this. And I will be coming back again to uh, cover more of the crypt at another time. I'm not going to cover it all today. I have no idea what that means, but that is Latin. And then we have Admiral Nelson. And the one that I wish to go and see was over here. Because it 
bargaining as to who the gentleman was. That's Admiral Beatty. Another famous man of uh, Nelson's time. Jutland. Can't move the reef, but Commander in Grand Chief of the Fleet, 1914-1918, Governor General of New Zealand, 1920-1924, Admiral of the Fleet, Admiral Jellico. Um, I can't. I won't move. It's highly disrespectful to touch one of those without. Well, you know what I mean. Others may not find it disrespectful, but I am. I know I muck about in certain places sometimes and whatnot, and that, and you have like a bit of a burke, but not in places like this. Particularly these men. Some of them gave their lives for our country, and some of them went for some pretty vital, horrible things for the freedom of the country and whatnot. Especially in the, uh, the, two, the two world wars. Before that, I know you had the colonial stuff and everything and whatnot. And I don't call right nor wrong on it. I wasn't there. And everyone involved is dead. I said some damn fool the other day commented about the Church of England making reparations to the Catholic Church for what it took. I thought, well, that's all well and good, and I do understand where people come from with that, because Henry VIII really did, and some of the generations after him, destroy the church, but what was taken would be have, to, have to be given back. And unfortunately, with that one, the people that you would want it given back to are long and dead, and in the ground are places like this. So, hmm. No. Pretty woke though, isn't it? All in the name of Jiggery Wokery. Field Marshal Lord Napier of Magdala, born December the 6th, 1810, died January the 14th, 1890. I can add up and subtract in some and do count some of the numerals, so that's 10. That's 1 and that's V, so 10 IV is 14. The I before the V makes it 14. This is why in the end we had to go over to Arabic numbers, Arabic numerals, because calculation became impossible in the end. It really did. You could only get up to a certain sum. And that was it, with the Roman numerals, and it was like that. All right, let me check the time. No, we're not doing too badly. We've got a few, a little, a little while longer down in the crypt. Funny thing is, last time I come here, there was a couple of Cockneys in, in here, and the, the old Cockney girl, she went, oh, look, to her, to her, her husband, oh, look, Frank, and that beautiful, that stone, it's so lovely, and he went, oh, hang on, love it, I'll get you one like it. <laughs> she, she laughed. Some people wouldn't find that funny, but that's how East London is for you, isn't it? <clears throat>
You've got more Napiers there, so they were obviously a naval and um, militaristic family. Napiers. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hmm. We've not done too bad today, have we? Ah, this is the other one I wanted to, the other gentleman I wanted to show you, George Crookshanks. Engineer architect or something of that nature. I watched a program before recently and uh, his name came up W. E. Henley, poet, 1849 to So, yeah. Ah, no we didn't. We didn't do the coronation thing, did we? I've just remembered that. And that should be where I want to take you now. giveaway isn't it no massive experience or anything but a little uh, a little bit poignant considering that we've not long oh wow this is actually okay we've not long lost the queen whether you're a royalist or not I mean she did do that do the job pretty well and loyally for all those years and meeting the Prime Minister uh, why are you actually dying of... Well, I'm not going to say what she died of. If you wish to know what the Queen died of, go on the YouTube and watch some of Lady Colin Campbell's videos. Very, very interesting lady, Lady Colin Campbell. One for the historian as well. She's a good historian. And if you like all the royal gossip and all that kind of stuff. So I don't normally give shout-outs on my page, but Lady Colin Campbell is very credible. So... So I get, get a laugh and a bit of enjoyment out of some of her videos sometimes, so it's all only fair. I will save the best bit in here till last. And then my pretty little chickity chews will uh, off to another area. Tea towels and traditions. Thing here. Not too much there, because it's just tea towels and things.
Queen's Diamond Jubilee. I remember this one well. I'm a little smidge bit of a royalist, I must admit, so. Like it or not, that's what you got. If you're not a royalist, I won't question your not being a royalist. If you don't question my being a royalist, but I may not agree with you, and you may not agree with me, but in the words of a, a past person, I can't remember his name, I, we do not agree, sir, but I will defend your right to have that disagreement with me. That's how democracy works. And the Platinum Jubilee, which was the most recent I shall save the best till last. And here we have it. Jubilee Cape. Look at the detail on that. That's amazing. Look. It's got all the, um, all the London churches on it. That'll be another one I'm going to soon. St. Mary Bound. St. Paul's, the most famous. St. Mary Hornsey. St. Paul's Mill Hill. St. Martin Ludgate, that's one I've done recently. St. Dunstan's in the West, that'll be another one. found that interesting guys and girls are glad you came in here now they hit the cape pretty well as they uh, a teaser Victoria's um, Jubilee in 1897. We've seen that already, but I can't really get a clear picture of the whole thing. I can try like that. Yep, that's not too bad. Right. Now, to find my bearings.
get a little bit of this place down here. Not lost, mind, but just misplaced. Ah, there we go. This is where I want to go. So, started and with the person that made the cathedral possible. So that's Sir Christopher Wren. I wonder if that was just a piece of dust or an old or possibly Sir Christopher Wren showing up and saying hello. Which would be more than welcome. Alright, so I hope you all found this one interesting guys and girls. If you did please give it a like and a share and um, join me again another time for the rest of the crypt. Thanks for watching.